With the right set of tires and a four-wheel drive vehicle, it feels like you could go anywhere and do anything, like you're ready to embark on some grand adventure and conquer the untamed wilderness. The reality is that most 4x4s spend the majority of their life on pavement, conquering the mundane tasks of everyday life. Knowing that most vehicles with off-road capability never see any terrain other than paved roads, several tire manufacturers have released on- and off-road all-terrain tires designed with greater emphasis on noise quality, ride comfort, and wet traction, while still maintaining off-road capability for when you really need it. To see how four of these mild all-terrain tires perform in the real world, we rounded up the Bridgestone Dueler AT Revo 3, Continental Terrain Contact AT, Cooper Discoverer AT34S, and Pirelli Scorpion All-Terrain Plus for a full comparison. Let's see what we found out. On the road, the Train Contact AT worked to eliminate some of the ponderous nature that's inherent to a truck platform. Direct and nicely weighted steering was satisfying, and combined with a controlled and firm ride, it felt similar to a touring tire. The Dueler AT Revo 3 responded quickly to steering inputs, with very little feel or feedback through the wheel. Ride quality was relatively soft, with some boom over impacts and a light drone from the tread over most surfaces. The Discoverer AT3 4S had the softest ride of the group, combined with continued, excess motion following impacts. Light handling felt a little dull, but was appropriate for the category. The Scorpion All-Terrain Plus created noticeable tread growl, particularly on coarse pavement, and the ride was firm, but not objectionable. Fast and precise turn-in felt good, and the Pirelli scored highly with our team for light handling. Neither the F-150 test vehicles nor the on- and off-road all-terrain tires in our test were designed with dry track performance in mind, but some limited track testing revealed they're all capable if needed for an emergency avoidance maneuver. In the 50 to 0 mile an hour braking test, a short 4.5 feet separated the test leading Train Contact AT from the Dueler AT Revo 3 at the back of the pack, with similarly close grouping in our skid pad testing as well. Stable composure and impressive traction meant the Train Contact AT led in average lap times, 50 to 0 braking, lateral traction, and was our team's subjective favorite. The Dueler AT Revo 3 felt more capable than its objective figures would seem to indicate, thanks mostly due to its balanced and easy-to-drive nature. The Discoverer AT3 4S is a strong performer in the wet, but it doesn't multitask very well, resulting in stubborn understeer on the way into turns and some twitchiness at the rear on corner exit unless the driver deliberately separated inputs. The Scorpion All-Terrain Plus was just a small step back objectively in terms of braking and lateral grip, making it feel like it required a bit more care. While it did spin the tires more readily under power, ultimately its lap times were third in this group. The Continental Terrain Contact AT does everything well, with satisfying, confident handling, a refined ride, good noise quality, and test-leading wet traction. The Bridgestone Dueler AT Revo 3 features alert and accurate steering, good composure over broken sections of road, and acceptable wet traction, with some moderate tread growl that gives away the tire's dual-purpose nature. The Cooper Discoverer AT3 4S is the most relaxed on the road, with a soft ride that absorbs small impacts well, but it has some continued reverberation after medium to large bumps. Steering response is a little dull, but appropriate for the application, and wet traction is mid-pack in this group. The Pirelli Scorpion All-Terrain Plus has light and fast steering that feels urgent, with acceptable ride quality and some audible tread growl. Dry traction is appropriate for the category, and it's a little slippery in the wet. Watch for our winter performance evaluation of these on- and off-road all-terrain tires after our 2019 winter testing. As we compare tires side by side, we find each one has its own personality. It's not as easy as simply choosing between good and bad. So as you view our test results, it's important to focus on your priorities, and what fits best with how, where, and what you drive. And also be sure to go to TireRack.com to read the full test report and to learn more about the tires featured in this test.